Hello, I want to go through the setup process and the installation of Torque Pro with a better route planner and its telemetry features uh, to get all that set up. Um, it's actually not too hard to do, uh, there's just a few little things that you need to keep in mind uh, to get it going right. So, um, in order to get all that started, of course you need an OBD2 dongle for your car with Bluetooth capability. Uh, there's several on Amazon or other stores that you can buy. They're fairly cheap. And uh, of course you need an Android phone and an account at a betterroutplanner.com. Um, once you have all that, you can go ahead and uh, get started with the setup. Uh, to get started first, uh, you need to install Torque Pro on your Android phone. Uh, it's actually pretty easy and straightforward. Um, so you just go to your Google store, type in Torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E, and search. Uh, there's the Pro version and the Lite version. I have the Pro version, which, which has a few more features. Download and install it. And once that's done, um, open the app. So that is um, pretty easy so far. Make sure you grant it all the permissions that it's that it that it needs, like uh, location, for example, and other permissions that it will ask you to grant it during the first start. Then. Um, you have to go into settings and click on um, manage extra PIDs and sensors. Uh, just uh, put something in there to start with. Uh, this will generate a folder that we need later on. Um, otherwise you might have a hard time finding that folder. Then go back out and quit. Uh, we don't, we're done with this step. Now uh, go on your computer and go to abetterroutplanner.com. Um, it's easier to do this on a computer because uh, there is a step with uh, some files that we need that is hard to do on a phone. So uh, go to abetterroutplanner, uh, make sure you have an account set up and you're logged in. Go to settings, go to more settings and make sure you're logged in, then click on setup. It will basically guide you through there. Uh, click on torque. Uh, there's some information here about different uh, OBD readers. Just click on next. Now these four files here are the ones that we're interested in. You need to click on it and it will open in a new window. Save these files on your computer. So you can just uh, save page as and save it and close that tab. Continue on with the next file. Those files are pretty cryptic, but uh, go through all four of them, download them and save them on a location on your computer. Now the next part of the process is to copy those files onto your uh, phone. So uh, go ahead and connect your phone to the USB port of your computer. You have to make sure that um, your phone is um, configured for file transfer. Go to USB Preferences, click on File Transfer, and that way it should show up on your computer. This might take a few seconds if you've never done that before. Now you should see your phone in your, in your browser. Here are the four files that I just downloaded, the CSV files, onto the computer. Copy them, Control C, or right click and copy. Then go to your Android phone here internal storage. 
Now this torque folder in the top left here, this is the folder that might not have shown up if you didn't do that one step. Go into that one, then extended PIDs, and paste your files in here. Control V, or right click and paste. There we go. All our files are on the phone. Now we have to import those files into Torque. Open Torque on your phone. Go to Settings. Then go to Manage Extra PIDs and Sensors. Now here's one of uh, here's a standard one. Just clear that out. We don't need that. Do that through the top right menu there. Go to Add Predefined Set and add the four files. They should be on the top of the list that we downloaded earlier. Two, three, five, Kona and Nero, and the last one, the APRP. Now those are all the addresses uh, Torque needs to know uh, to get the data out of your car. Get back so that it's saved. Then go back into settings and now we set up the uh, data logging and upload. Select what to log. It should be empty if not uh, clear the list. Select what to log. This will be the data that will be sent to ABRP to a better route planner. Here are the files, or the, the actually the, the PIDs. Just click all of the ones that uh, read ABRP. Now you have to scroll all the way down. There's a lot of um, information in here. You need to scroll down to 001 outdoor temp right there and then continue scrolling down we need uh, the GPS coordinates as well they're all the way down there F G there uh, GPS GPS latitude, altitude, latitude, longitude, and a little bit further down now again is GPS speed. There, GPS speed. That should be all the um, fields that are needed. Now scroll down, skip file logging here, scroll all the way down to real-time web upload, make sure upload to web server is selected, you can select an interval here every 10 seconds or faster or slower, just what your uh, reader is able to do and what you think is uh, works good for you. Scroll down to web server URL, though the easiest way is to open a better route planner in your browser on the phone, go to settings. more settings, scroll down to um, setup, click on setup, now just uh, scroll through all these things here to almost the last page, there we go, um, and copy that web server URL, and switch back, paste it in the field, okay, scroll down to user email address, now do the same thing, switch back to your browser. I just copy that uh, and paste it in there. Since this is a specific code for you, um, I uh, blurred it out here. Save it and you're done. Now the next step is to connect your um, Torque Pro to your car. 
Uh, plug your OBD2 dongle into your car and start the car. It needs to be in drive. It is not enough um, if it's not running. Uh, pair your phone to your uh, OBD2 dongle. Go to Bluetooth settings and search for uh, devices. It should po pop up in a little bit. There it is. Click on it. Uh, it might need a pin uh, to connect to it. I put that pin in there and there it is connected. Now you can start Torque. And it should connect. You can see the four icons up on top there, the blue icons. The left one blinking is uh, GPS, the phone, the Bluetooth dongle and the car. Now to see if I get data, I just went into data logging in here and uh, select what to log. It can go pretty much anywhere. And now you can see these green fields have data uh, and it actually changes too. That means it's reading the data out of your car correctly. Okay, you can get out of torque. The easiest thing to just uh, go into a browser, it doesn't matter if it's on the phone or on a on your um, computer, go to abetterroutplanner.com, go back into settings where we were before, and now more settings, and now uh, the view live data button, click on that one, and depending on how uh, your upload uh, is set, it should um, update the information in here. If you have, have it set to a uh, slower update or upload rate, uh, it might take a little while, but this is how it should, li should be like. And that's basically it. Now you can uh, have your car data hooked up to a better route planner and you're good to go. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please click like, uh, maybe subscribe and uh, comment below if you have any questions. Thank you.